Sorry about that, people. I dropped my phone like an idiot. Um, unless I sign off and say this is Free Man Sullivan concluding today's live stream, stick with us, and we will be back. Sorry about dropping the, uh, the phone. My apologies. got a small number of people, I guess, about 30 people all together. We're down here on Wall Street, right across from the New York Stock Exchange. Free Man Sullivan. Uh, you're free. Someone said Free Man Sullivan, and I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm Linda. Lippy Lulu. Okay. Nice to see you. Nice okay, so this you. is Freeman Sullivan, and he is streaming. Um, so is it like Ustream dot? Uh, U S T R E dot A M slash. Wait, wait. No, you, they all know Ustream dot TV slash channel slash Free Man Sullivan. Free Man Sullivan. Okay, so he's got in front of the federal steps. Me and Hands are gonna go and. Yeah, where did you go? What is that group over there? I'm here. But I'm looking. Like, is that not like a lot of people here? No, it just, it just looks like it. It's probably a tour. There's so many tours. Okay, so he's streaming. Oh, okay, okay, great. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, and Cass is going to tweet. Cass is tweeting. Okay, so we're taking a little break. And back soon for about 45 minutes. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye. I do know that at 420 we will be back at Ducati Park. down here we haven't really started to do anything just yet we're down here I'm talking to the audience we're down here at 25 25 Wall Street at Federal Hall the site of uh, where uh, George Washington was sworn in as the first president of the United States of America I wonder what George would think what would George say Okay, we're up on Global Occupy News Network. Thank you. Lippy Lulu, I just spoke with her. Yeah, nothing's happening in D.C. Yep, that's right. Although we will be back tomorrow, God willing, to uh, live stream the uh, School of America's protest. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to uh, D.C. for that. Uh, maybe Occupy Carlisle will be there. down here as you can see then we do protesters kind of sad all these kids if they really knew what was going on how their futures are being pissed away at this fucking casino we're gonna move in a little bit closer Yeah, so they got our 
think two days later they were making fun of us. They were making fun of the fact that they're like, let's go. So we got a small crowd, it's starting to build up a little bit. Stick with us, we're going to be here until at least 7.30. Yeah. I'm up on three different news networks, yay. Thank you for all your support, people that are watching. Very much appreciate it. I'm gonna go take a walk up to the steps and give you a, a little bird's eye view of what it looks like here. Howdy, howdy. Hi. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. A little chilly, but I'll survive. Hopefully. I got my long johns on. Uh, I didn't wear them today. Uh, yeah. Just in case. It was nice and warm in DC yesterday. That's where we came from. Finally. The cops will stay in the station houses. Yeah, there's only like one lieutenant that was out here, and there's yeah, I know. a couple over there. But they pretty much. Well, listen, they know who's showing up before we do. <laughs> well, they, they follow me around, so yeah, they, maybe not the New York Police they, Department. They got every, they got all covered. So we're down here by the Wall Street Casino. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, where they're gambling. Your future life savings away and the life <laughs> of all those kids over there, right? Those kids are going to be crushed when they decide hey, to go to college. Hey, listen, maids are expensive. Come on. Right. So, if you're young, you should definitely listen, be those participating. those rich people are providing jobs. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they are. They're providing jobs. What kind of jobs do you think? Huh? What, in the graft Cheapest industry? Cheapest possible jobs you can, they can find. Yeah, yeah. Lowest but, possible wage without health insurance or anything else. Yeah, McDonald's. Even worse than McDonald's. Did you see uh, Coke? What was it? Yesterday? Day before? Yesterday. Charles Coke or whatever. One of the Coke brothers. Oh. Did an editorial op-ed at, I guess, the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. One or the other. Yeah, one or the other, yeah. Um, about, you know, the uh, collectivists. That's what we are. Right. The collectivists who, you know, don't understand that his companies have 60,000 jobs. I'm going like... So hold on, I mean, you have 60,000 employees as a result of our efforts and our infrastructure and our economy and our streets and our, you know, country and you're going to take credit for it. Like right. somehow you, asshole, created all these jobs that didn't happen because you happened to live here and you inherited it from your daddy. What an asshole. I know, he's crybaby in it. Yeah. Well, nobody likes me because I have so much money. <laughs> Right, there's a Occupy Adventure there, Casper, you can follow him on uh, Ustream, another live streamer, he's very much dedicated. Boy, I was looking this morning, though. I couldn't find anything about this today, nothing. Oh uh, yeah, we well, had to go to the... I couldn't find it anywhere. You had to go to the... Uh, for more information about what's going on today, go to nycga.net. Well, I, was, I was at those places, but I mean, I'm trying to, in the, on the news, anything, okay. nothing. Yeah, it was nothing, we got blacked out, that's why we're out here live streaming. Uh, yeah, no, blacked out. I hear you. Right. Uh, I couldn't find a thing. That's why the live streamer, that's why we're out here, so we can provide you with the with the unexpurgated, uncensored Absolutely. news. Right, so you can see for yourself and judge for yourself about what's going on down here. So far, our police presence has been minimal. That's right. Yeah. Which we hope that that will stay. And then at 420, we're going to be going back over to Zuccotti Park. Beautiful. You've been over, over there the, already? Yes, I have. And we'll be over there for the, uh, the cannabis the protest. Six, huh? Yeah, there's a cannabis protest at 420. Okay. Over at the Zuccotti. Uh, all right. I, I, I kind of thought it was hanging around here and then going over there at, I don't know, 630 or something. That's cool. Yeah. Back and forth. I need the walk. <laughs> I've done a lot of walking today, that's for sure. Always doing a lot of walking in New York. Good for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, considering I couldn't walk, and it's free. Yeah, considering I couldn't walk uh, just the last two years ago, now I'm getting around pretty well now. Hey, what's up? Come to join the festivities. A small but determined group of people down here at Wall Street. We're gonna go back over to Zuccotti in just a little bit for the uh, cannabis protest at 4:20 p.m. 
see what time it is now. Yeah, we still got a ways to go. Thank you, their love for world peace. Thank you, Carrie M. Thank you, Uwe J. Thank you, Joy to the World, and thank you, Occupy FR, for retweeting. I really appreciate that. So glad you could watch and join us. We're out here at uh, Wall Street in the belly of the beast. As you can see, there it is, New York Stock Exchange. The place where they gamble all your money away on supposedly, if you're going to be in the investment game, you got to be in it for the long run. And they came out today, they were talking about high volume trading, where they game the stock market for like hundreds of a cent, and they make these like, super quick computations so they can make a few pennies off of each stock that gets sold and if you do it in a high enough volume with these supercomputers you can actually make money at it like they're stealing right. from each other which is good pretty much yes Anybody got a I'm loving it. I love being in New York, folks. Show some activism. Show some spirit. Huh? Worldwide wave. Yes. It's going to be a pretty fucking We're here for the wave of action. So if you retweet that, it's hashtag wave of action. Wave of action. We're out here in front of Freedom Steps right now on Wall Street, actually. And there's a lot of, you know, meeting up with friends, a lot of networking going on, you know. Um, pretty, pretty calm. The rain has stopped right now. Thank goodness. We have asshole Timothy over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he's over there. Of course. Um, he's our tormentor. Yeah. Over there. And, you know, we're just out here chilling. I'm Stacks, by the way. You can look me up on Twitter. I'm also on Facebook. Holla at your boy. All right. Hashtag Wave of Action. Don't forget it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I do. I We're standing on the steps of Freedom Hall, the site where George Washington was sworn in as the first president of the United States. What would George think of his country now? I don't think he would think. I think he would be mortified if he saw what was happening to this country and what has happened to this country. The income disparity between rich and poor is ever widening. It's gotten even greater since Occupy first hit the scene. So, more wealth is concentrated in the hands of fewer people than ever before. So we got more people showing up. More live streamers. We like all these live streamers. I'm here with Nick, from California. Right, he came all the way out here for these protests. He showed up in D.C. and we're like, well, there's nothing happening in D.C. Why don't you come up to New York with us? So he hopped on a bus and joined us. So we've got a little uh, D.C. contingent here. we got Barry. He's somewhere floating around here. And there's John. Let's go say hi to John. Nice talking to you, my friend. See you later. Let's chat more splat. I'm sorry, go ahead. There's John from DC. Yeah, like, yeah, like, right now we're just, like, world play, world play, says the only pieces that everybody has left is kings. Everybody just has kings. Yeah. Like, oh, word, go ahead, go ahead, get close to me, I will fucking nuke you. Get close and I will nuke you, I will not think about it twice. 
I want Pussy Riot to do something What's again, so we can listen to all the news anchors <laughs> struggle with the word pussy. I think they have to say pussy. I think they have to. They, they should get their like time to settle down. Yeah, yeah. They still been no, they 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 got out of jail and like they're still doing shit. Like how long before they get jail? What the fuck? I'd be like, no, I'm taking a break. No, you gotta keep up. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, 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 we're hooli we're like world class hooligans. We, no, we get by. Like, oh. yeah. Basically, like no, I'm a construction worker. Okay, that's why I was like, I'm but, like, I'm, I'm like, a, oh no, no, it, it doesn't work in function. It, it, <laughs> You just kind of like wake up in the morning, pat yourself on the back as you're still alive, and it's like, all right, brave new world, here we go, and hope for the best. Like that. Wake up in the morning, pat yourself on the back. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to be fucking alive. Like you have to pay for everything. Yeah. Every. All the other animals though. All the other animals are like, oh, I'm a fucking squirrel. Because we made it hard for. We made it hard for ourselves. Squirrel. Squirrel. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run around the park, eat some nuts, scare tourists. <laughs> it's because yep. we want so much. That's that's what LSD it's, is for. You take it, and then you're like, I'm a fucking squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go run around at the park. You're gorgeous. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Twitter account for like the <laughs> They're being spun and it has a cow Oh, dude, I don't know. Yeah, he's just like... Yeah, like for those of you just joining us, we're down here on Wall Street. Right across from the New York Stock Exchange. We're at a protest. Wave of action. The beginning of the protest season here in New York City. We've got a nice little crowd that's starting to build up here. You brought the cow back. You want it? Nobody wanted it. Seems dropping on John here and what he has to say. So how was the uh, protest a little bit earlier? That's John Zangus speaking. You can follow him on Twitter at John Zangus, Z A G A S C A N G A S. Every man sold it. How you doing? Not bad, not bad. A little chilly, but I'm okay. Yeah, it's a cold day for an uh, early day in, in April. Oh, I've been good. It's a cold day. I would have never thought it'd be this cold. Probably around low 40s. Easily. I've got my gloves on. So we're here photographing each other. Oh, no, I live in a live streamer. Lots of live streamers, yes. I always said it's a good I don't think the police knew we were going to be here, but they know now that if they're watching our, our stream. Well, it's easy enough for them to find out. It's really great to be back in the world. I'm sure.
So yeah, one of the reasons I came to New York was to meet some of the other live streamers that I've had contact with online, but now you're able to do so in person, which is always a big plus. I always like meeting other people that I meet online. So there's a lot of milling about right now at the moment. No, I think we've invaded 220 over the last. I think you know we're in a state of war with like 220 countries. Military. Yeah, like yeah. So we can't figure out where to. We're gonna find your money for college. We know where it was spent. Occupying another country, spending it on weapons of war. Is this the kind of country you want to live in, folks? So we're milling about a little bit. Kind of waiting for something to happen. They always have lots of school trips out here. people now. So our numbers are increasing slowly but surely. <laughs> 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 
Lindsay Zan. Recovering from cold. Sorry, I'll try to make sure you're not pulling Yeah. Oh my God. Let's check out the chat. See who's on chat. I got so many. I'm sitting raw. It's natural. I like it in any way. I like it in any way. It's natural. Why are we here? It's because capitalism is not working. The only, the only people that capitalism seems to be working for are the one percent, the billionaires, right, who cry, who are the base, biggest welfare whores in the world, who would deny somebody their food stamps just so they can increase their wealth and satis try to satisfy their enormous appetite for greed, right? This is like probably the most greedy spot in the whole universe, right down here at the New York Stock Exchange. So slowly but surely more and more people are showing up. We're just kind of milling about right now for people just joining us. We're right, uh, we're at Federal Hall, uh, right across from the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. Now we're starting to fill up a little bit of a presence down here. At around 4.10, we're going to mosey on back over to Zuccotti no Park for the uh, normal sponsored protest for cannabis legalization here in New York State. So we're definitely going to be checking that out here in a few minutes. Our uh, numbers keep growing here. Uh, we've got about 70, 75 people here now.
little bit of energy. demonstration. Like, you know. Nice shot, 
We got a crowd of about 75 people. We're headed over to Zuccotti Park. some banksters in jail.
We're, we're a coalition of grassroots Occupy activists. We've been out here since this started. And we're working with policy experts and lawyers from Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. We're doing our homework. You've got a lot of artists in our coalition. You've got a lot of first-time people who are new to activists activism in our coalition as well. And what we're talking about, we've got three pieces of legislation we're specifically talking about. We're talking about the CCA, the Compassion Care Act. This is for medical marijuana. We're talking about MARTA, MRTA, the Marijuana Regulation Taxation, uh, ta Regulation Taxation Act. And we're also talking about industrial hemp. We have actual legislation for this, and this is why this is new and revolutionary for this movement. Because we are now talking about demands. There are now, there's now safe space within this movement for demands. Actual legislation. We are actually trying to do something now. We're not just getting out here for the sake of hanging out anymore. We want to take this further. We want radical reform. We want you all to help us with this. I just want to say, if there's any... Any control freaks out here who have a problem with us moving forward and trying to get demands, I really don't care if you want to block and leave. Because the world needs to change or die, and this movement needs to change or die, or it will die. And we will not change the world. It's time to start thinking differently. It's time to start thinking something new. If we don't, that's a sign of insanity. And I'm not trying to work with the same movement, with the same people. I'm trying to work with healthy people, people who appreciate their medicine. Thank you. Yay. So, what we have, we have the whole schedule of upcoming actions and so forth. Please talk to me if you want to get more hooked in. But the priority right now, the thing we have to do right now before uh, Congress lets out in Albany this June is medical marijuana. Do not believe Cuomo's lies. Do not believe anything this motherfucker tells you. He's a politricker. He wants you to think that medical marijuana is done. We talk to people, they think it's already done and he, over. He did not pass his executive order. He did not pass the executive order. Hey, you want to pass out some DC stickers? Yeah, let me give you some. Sorry, we're taking a break here, folks. We're going to pass out some DC legalization stickers because we're doing stuff in, in DC as well. So, just a second here, folks. Be patient with me. Digging into my bag full of tricks here. Uh -oh. Uh, never mind the penny here. There we go. Let's pass it around the crowd. Tweet to them every day. Please get these numbers down. You got that? Does everybody have this? Come talk to us afterwards. Get more info. Jeff Klein, 518 We have to get this done before this summer ends. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait until another session. I don't think I need to explain to anyone here why this is important. This is the first step in ending the drug war. This is, the, this is an important step. New York City is the marijuana arrest capital of the fucking world. It's a shame. It's a shame that we let this happen to us. Now, there was $680 million that we, the people, had to fucking pay to the prison industrial complex in 2010 so that students, minorities, and marginalized people would have to pay for getting arrested for their marijuana. It's time to stop sending people to prison over there. Now, as important as this is, medical marijuana alone is not going to solve the problem. We need to push further. We're pushing for recreational marijuana. Part of the recreational bill, why this is an Occupy issue, is because this is an economic issue. This is a civil rights issue as well, but it's also an economic issue. We legalize recreational weed in this state. That brings in $400 million in tax revenue annually to New York City. 50% of that money is going to go straight into job training programs, straight into substance abuse programs, for low-income, high unemployment communities that are most affected by stop and frisk. This will help us redistribute well. This will help us create an economy for the 99%, which is why we need you to take action and call these motherfuckers. Tell them we want our medicine. 
is the Jay Skellos. They're not on the side. They do not care for us. Yes, question the other. 455 3191. 3191. Yeah. Something else we want to point out is that what we're doing here today is just the first step. We have some flyers circulating right now. We've got a whole calendar of actions. We're going to be going out speaking about marijuana and speaking about legalized marijuana. Boy, our friend from Empire State Normal is here right now. We'd like to invite all of you to the White Hotel this Sunday in Williamsburg to come to our, our first Empire State Normal meeting of this season. We're going to meet with a lot of good people, some lawyers, some activists who've been in the legalization fight for a long time, and we're going to push this forward. Before I turn it over to Laura, hey, come on up, Laura. I want to talk, talk just a little bit more about the MARTA bill, the Marijuana Regulation Taxation Act, because not only does this bring $400 million in tax revenue to our city that we will use to rebuild our communities, but you get to grow six of your own plants. For those of you that don't want to pay taxes on your weed, you can grow your own. That's pretty cool. Like, this is getting us away from government control. The other thing I want to say is that a lot of people come up to us when we talk about this, and they say, oh, didn't that get passed already? Isn't that done? As if you don't need to take action, as if you could just sort of chill on this issue. Not the case at all. That, that is a testament to the effectiveness of poor move politicking that people actually think that is the case. Right? So, yeah. Laura? Laura's this is Laura. <laughs> Hi. Um, I truly believe that marijuana prohibition is wrong. And it was a legal plant for most of human history. It's only recently that we're in this era of prohibition. And it, it needs to be over. Like, I think that we're seeing great strides both globally and nationally. Um, and certainly with Cuomo saying that he, like, even acknowledging medical marijuana is a small step forward. Um, but we can't stop fighting for it because every day that goes by that we can make it happen faster is important. Yeah. And there are people out there dying that need medical marijuana right now. Right now. And <laughs> patients will never be fully protected until it is completely legal. Um, marijuana is a great plant. It has a variety of uses. Um, and it's great for lots of things. And it's certainly also great for responsible adult use. Yes. On a recreational basis. But Matt. medical is something that we need right now. One objection that we often hear to this also is that, oh, big, mis big business is going to come in and capitalize off this once you get this all legalized. To some extent, that is true. Like, people are going to make money off this. But the main thing is ending drug prohibition. People need to get out of the fucking jails. Students need to quit getting their careers and their education ruined because they get arrested for a dime bag on them. People need their medicine. We're dying here. The world's dying, and it's time for this. Now, CCA, this summer, we got to get this done. Recreational, probably longer fight, maybe year long. Even bigger fight is this hemp issue. Industrial hemp is very important. And this is what's really going to allow us to create an economy for the 99 cents. And Liz Kruger, who put forward the MARTA bill, is also putting forward this hemp bill. And this is going to be really important, even further on, to like 
redistribute wealth. Um, the scientist in Moto who studies the water crystals, who uh, you can change the patterns within water, within you, rice, by you, by channeling your vibes to it. He showed that you can actually, with your consciousness, affect matter, physical matter. Yeah. And he is actually out there right now advocating that to help heal the damage that Fukushima had in Japan, that we should be planting hemp plants on the location where the radiation is. We can make anything out of hemp. We can make biodiesel out of hemp. This is why this is an environmental issue, as well as a civil rights issue, as well as a justice issue, as well as an economic issue. This is also for the environment. I mean, it's very hypocritical that hemp is illegal to grow as a crop in the United States. Two presidents of the United yes. States yeah. grew hemp in yes. Washington and Washington. Washington is Jefferson. And in, during World War II, the government actually gave hemp seeds to farmers. And Hemp for Victory was a major campaign because we needed it as a resource. It was a time where we needed to pull all our resources together. And the fact that we have to be importing hemp for all the variety of hemp products you can just go buy at stores all over the place, hemp soap hemp seeds yeah. like for eating mm -hmm. all these things Brownies. and we have to import everything and if we could be growing it here that would make it much more accessible and it would solve a lot of problems hemp is such a radical transformation in our society in our economy that that's actually the harder fight than cannabis ironically spite of years worth of read from Adam's bullshit propaganda it's still the harder fight so first CCA then murder then industrial hemp and uh Please, yeah, please come to our Empire State meeting this Sunday. Please grab a flyer from us. Please follow us, Green Rush NYC on Twitter. Please give us a like, Green Rush on Facebook. You can find our whole campaign schedule up there. We update it. We put links to all our own media. Um, does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any, any comments? Any yeah, questions? Or I just wanted to say really quick that the main problem I have with drugs being illegal is that it is being used as a weapon to uh, incarcerate uh, and legally kidnap uh, black and Hispanic people. Uh, that is the main problem with the tr all drugs being illegal. Racist drug laws. Now, I am particularly not so much interested in the legalization of marijuana than I am in the eradication of capitalism yeah. for my system. <laughs> you know, that is that That's that right. is the problem here. Uh, from 1970 to 2013, the prison population has increased from 300,000 to 2,500,000. I myself was sent to prison when I was 15 years old for three and a half years. Fuck that. I was kidnapped and tortured by the state. That's basically, that's how I put it, I'm sorry. That's what it is, you know? that's what it is. Uh, so I hope, so I hope that our that, that I fight extends past reform, because this is what this is, a reform. I hope I, I fight passes from reform to actual revolution, uh, to the organization of people towards not a political ideology, not towards the implication of a new political system, but towards the implication of a new social system, yes. we may be able to call it what we want. Yes. Say what else? Keep speaking. Keep right. it going. Yeah, let's hear it. Man, they ain't make this um, weed thing legal. They can make it happen in Colorado. They can make it in New York. And it can cure cancer and other diseases. Does anybody have any Keep questions? Keep talking. Sue the pharmaceutical drugs. It ain't good for you. Keep talking, people. Anybody got else been affected say? by the drug war? I want to give a testimonial. Smoke that weed. Anybody else has anything to good. say? I'd like to call Senator Klein right the fuck now. He's on speaker. Yeah. 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 We got yeah. Senator Klein on speaker. Let's yeah. give a mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. We're calling Senator Klein. We're calling Senator Klein. Senator Klein. To tell him we want medical marijuana. To tell him we, we want, want medical, medical marijuana. marijuana. We want to vote on the CCA. We, we want to vote on the CCA. Right the fuck away. Right the fuck away. <laughs> All right. See ya. Let's make it. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Hello? We're good. Did you get our message?
Yes, this is Occupy Wall Street calling for Senator Klein. We're very upset about this whole lies that Cuomo's been telling us about medical marijuana. We know he's bullshitting us. We're, we're doing our research, we're doing our homework, and we want Senator Klein and Scalos to bring the CCA to a vote. Otherwise, we will raise hell in their districts and we will cost them votes. <laughs> Okay, they said okay. okay. Mic check, everybody. Tell Clyde Z what you gotta say. Mic check! Mic okay. check! Alright, they're all here. We got, a, we got a lot of people out here. We really hope you, you, uh, you're you taking us seriously. We're, we're gonna stay on you about this. Alright, cool. Of course, my name's Harrison Schultz. I've been harassing you all week. <laughs> Harrison Schultz. Does anybody else yeah. want to say anything? All right, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Recreation you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Does anybody have any family? Oh, my God. My, Take it, my girl. It's not even like a really big story. It's not even my story. My cousin is trying to be getting into the Navy for like half a year. Sorry, my cousin has been trying to get into the Navy for the past year, year and a half, and they finally were about to accept him. The real issue to me is income inequality and, and, and corporate control over our democracy, right? So any issue such as marijuana, you know, there are, there are companies making billions of dollars that are invested in continuing to make billions of dollars and they don't want it to be legal. The bigger picture is this, that our government is bought and owned by banks pharmaceutical companies and oil companies and that's what started Occupy Wall Street to begin with and all these other issues fit very neatly into it so what we really need to have a discussion about is this it's been two and a half fucking years and they're doing more damage than they did before and what are we gonna do about it I don't have a lot of answers but we need to be in the street a hell of a lot more and I, I you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm serious it's like there's not a lot of time to, to, to you know, to, to kind of just sit and wait. There's got to be action. We're going to make this happen or it's not going to happen. No more excuses. We start doing our homework. Thank you all for being out here today. Thank you all for, like, sitting on this crappy weather. Please do your homework. Please Google MARTA. Please Google CCA. Follow us on Green Rush. Follow us on Green Rush NYC for updates. We have a blog, a new video blog on YouTube called Just Activism. And you can follow us. We'll be getting regular reports on that. Tweet those out. Hook us up. We got another guy who wants to say something. Yeah. I'm just going to say something right here. I've got cancer, but I'm still here, and the government has not killed me. So everybody, keep the fight, and don't let them kill you at night. Apply for the Klingons out there. You wanted to say something too, right? Oh, we put the camera on you? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah? yeah. So the world, what's up, man? Okay, I, uh... Oh, uh, this way? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not a live streamer. <laughs> I was uh, doing battle. Captain was America now. With, with leukemia four years ago by the doctors. And I was had the good fortune of living out in San Francisco, California. And uh, I was able to find a cannabis doctor who uh, prescribed. At first, he's like, he's looking at my chart. He's all stern. I see, he says, I see you have 40 years of heavy marijuana use. And he looks up from the chart. He says, "Keep it up." Ah. And then he says, uh, "Don't tell anybody that where you got these from." He opens up his drawer and he pulls out a big jar of cannabis oil capsules. Beautiful. And he told me to take those. And as a result of that, I've been in remission now for three and a half. Years. Anyway, and also, um, I'm living in D.C. right now. 
And we're going to start collecting signatures to legalize cannabis in D.C. Yes! In November. So. Occupy Reef from Madness will help you out with that fight. Right, we're with you all the way. We got wants to make some calls? Yo, call your senators so we can keep this man high on medical marijuana. <laughs> Talk about the benefits of being high. Why is alcohol worse than marijuana? It's not. There we go. It's not. It is. It is. I asked that question weird. Someone else want to speak? You got something to say? Anybody got something to say? Oh, come on. I want to say marijuana will fall through with the destruction of capitalism. That's how we get marijuana legalized. That's what we need to worry about. We need to do outreach to these kids over here in these high schools that are most likely coming from the hoods in New York City that I think we're all a bunch of crazy white people with long hair. And that's why, that's why, that's why I, well, and some short, some short hair, but that's why Occupy Wall Street fell in the first place. But, Felt? Not that it's not important. It's yeah, very, we're still very here. Important. We're still yeah. here. Yeah. Yes, but the conversation is about power. There's more of us than there were of them. Any friends I have that work around Wall Street and at the banks were very disturbed when we had a presence here. It upset them, and we need to make the comfortable uncomfortable. You know, we got two out of five kids in the United States living in poverty. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. So what are we going to do? You know, we've got it. We, we don't have the luxury of time. The, you know, there are people who don't have enough food, who don't have affordable housing, who don't have clean water. This is, these are basic human rights. And they're being denied, and the banks continue to suck money out of poor communities. They've been doing it for years, and they're doing it today. Nothing has changed by electing a Democrat as President of the United States. Nothing has changed by electing a Democrat as Governor of New York State. They don't change the structural inequality. I think we need to think beyond voting. I don't yes. have answers, but I have a whole bunch of questions. I just hope we can continue to put pressure on. We should be at banks on Wall Street on a weekly basis. I don't care if it's five of us with signs sharing our discontent. They can't get away with what they're doing. So who else has something to say? Yes. Hello. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Yeah, my name is Joseph. Joe. Uh, I'm here to support this uh, bill here. Vanessa Marijuana Bill. Yeah. They're pushing it in Albany now, yeah. I think. And I'm here to support that. I also want to say I'm a person living with HIV. A lot of people in the AIDS community needs this. Need this. And to say about the uh, pharmaceutical, they're putting out drugs that's really killing a lot of us. <coughs> Even though I'm on it now, I really want to get off it. I'm a person living with HIV going on 30 years. Wow. And I'm blessed to be here today. This is what keeps me going. Yeah, yeah struggle, the struggle. I need to be in the struggle. I support this bill. I want to thank Harrison for inviting me down here. I'm supposed to event too. Right. I, that shit. I want to say also, uh, we are having a town hall meeting where I get uh, my HIV service, uh, GMHC. Um, I recently been expelled for speaking up, speaking the truth to power, and when you speak up, they marginalize you. So April the 10th, I invite those who want to come and support the clients who are speaking up for what is right. Um, April the 10th, 1.30, press conference, rally. We rally in front of that town hall meeting. So keep right in on. the struggle. Thank you. Occupy right. Reefer will be there to support our good brother Joe. All right. He's been out here for a long time. We've been out here a long time. We gotta hit his event up. Yeah. One thing I wanna make too, this is a self-limiting movement. Like once we get this done, once we get the CCA, the MARTA, and our hemp bills, you know, we can hang out, like reminisce about old times. We're not trying to grow a new movement behind this. We're not trying to like take any of your attention away from any other struggle you're working on. We're looking to build coalitions with people who have other causes that are related. Because this is all related. This is all one fight. We're trying to connect the dots so we can do this as efficiently as possible. We want to win, but we don't want to work any harder than we absolutely have to in order to win, just like we don't want to work any harder than we absolutely have to in order to keep the shitty jobs we don't really like, right? Alrighty. Can I say something to 
please, by all means. Please. Whether or not you smoke, it doesn't matter because it's That's class right. warfare. Rich kids go to rehab. Everyone else goes, goes to, to jail. jail. And yeah. prison. It's class warfare. It's got nothing to do with the drugs. It's got nothing to do with what it does to you. It's got nothing to do with how someone feels about it. It's class warfare. It's class war. Absolutely. It was originally a way to keep black people and Hispanics in jail, and it still fucking is. Yep. It's time to end it. For those of you who are worried about the corporations making more money off the weed than this, check your fucking privilege. Just, people are going to jail over this. Yeah. May I say something? By all means, so. Yes, Robert, you. Robert, Robert. Yeah. Robert. Talk, Robert. Um, Another old veteran in the house here. Listen to what right. he has to it say. Is, it is so good to see people of every single color, of every single background, of every single race, because this is where the power is. They try to separate us, the black and the Puerto Rican in the jail, and the white to the rich and all like that. This is what they don't like. This is what they do not like. When we all come together as a rainbow, of a rainbow for one purpose, social justice, marijuana, marijuana, legalized, everything. We just want to live. We just want to live a nice, easy life. Basically, I'm a person with kidney disease, Go to dialysis three times a week. But there are ways to rejuvenate your kidneys. There are ways to make this brother HIV no more. You gotta go back to nature. I just came from a doctor, Dr. Savy's office in Brooklyn, the fig tree, check him out. I put out the money because I know I can rejuvenate my kidneys. I know I can get back my life. But the thing is, they don't want you to know. We got the pharmaceutical, we got the banking industry, it's all one fucking big industry. Okay? Yeah. Well, we could go right back to Mother Nature and have her take care of us. All right? We got to keep up the fight. We got to keep the pressure on. We got what? Sorry, you, you good? No, no, well, go for it, man. the thing is, we have many questions. We have the answers as well also. We just need to come together and we need to bring the power back on. We need to bring it back. And we need you all to keep taking action, just like the one I'm about to do right now. Because I'm calling Skellos! Yeah. Skellos is in Long Island. I hear he's an even bigger asshole. I hear he's really against this. Politician, he's got Yes, hi, this is Occupy Wall Street calling for Senator Skelos. We've got about 50 people out here. Let's say hello. Mike Jack! Hey, so we're out here right now to demand that the CCA be brought to a vote on the floor. We know that Skelos has control over that. The Compassionate Care Act, the CCA, we want to vote on it. We want this done, be we want this done before the session lets out this summer. And we will be... Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Great. Can you also tell him that we will be organizing rallies in his district to get this done? Like we will be, we'll be talking to voters in his districts about this bill, and we will be making, we will be making media noise about this. My name is Harrison Schultz. I've been harassing you guys all week. Please don't send the NSA after me. And uh, that, that's all Brother Schroeder will get him. Right on, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yo, I'd like to announce it, but take a battery. Yo, hello. Today, uh, earlier I was at 125th Street, and we were demonstrating in front of Charlie Rangel's office. We were there because we wanted the Congress people, Charlie Rangel, to support H.R. 1579. And that's the Robin Hood tax. We believe that we should tax Wall Street, not the people. And this is what this bill is going to do. It's going to raise money from the rich and put money into to our communities and to the programs that they are cu cutting back on, sequestration. And you notice is the picture of Dr. King because today, 46 years ago today, Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis. And he was there for the workers, the garbage workers. So today we commemorate Dr. King, 
If Dr. King was here today, he would be here. He's down with the people. So we'd love to have a moment of silence for today, 46 years ago, Dr. King was taken from us. Moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I got something to say. Right here. Mike Chuck. Mike Chuck. Mike Chuck. Mike Chuck. Wall Street traders. Wall Street traders. Dry up the price of gas. Dry up the price of gas. By speculating on oil. By speculating on oil. They dry up our taxes. They dry up our taxes. By doing fraudulent deals. By doing fraudulent deals. And making us bail them out. And making us bail them out. Pass the Robin Hood tax. Pass the Robin Hood tax. Tax traders. Tax traders. Tax speculators. Tax speculators. Spend the money. Spend the money. On housing for the homeless. On housing for the homeless. On free education. On free education. On health care. On health care. And on things that will benefit people. On things that will benefit people. Thank you. Thank you. John. Oh, 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 oh. I think we should wrap up on marijuana a little bit so we can move on because we got a lot of important things to discuss and so important. Robin Hood wore green. God, that smells good. <laughs> Back to Robin Hood wore green. That's why we're down with the green rust. Green Rush is behind, Robin attacks all the way. Right. We, want, we want to give the mic over to Laura for a little bit, to talk a little bit about an important event on May 3rd, the annual New York City Cannabis Day Parade. And uh, yeah, talk about that. The New York Cannabis Parade is an event that's been called many things, but it's been around for over 40 years, and it's always the first Saturday in May. Uh, New York was the birthplace of the Global Marijuana March, which is an amazing event. Um, I was actually part of it when I was traveling without even knowing what it was before I became an activist. And it's just a real way to reach out to people, but all around the world on that Saturday, sit, uh, countries all march to try to legalize marijuana and protest prohibition wherever they are. And so it's definitely important to be a part of this movement because it is global and it is national and it's also, it's everything. Um, and and so we're doing this event, we're going to be meeting um, between 30, 32nd and Broadway, we'll assemble and we have a parade and we'll parade down to Union Square where there'll be a rally with music and speakers and ways to, for you to learn about how to get involved if this is an issue you want to try to change. And it's just going to be a really great day, so I'd love to see you all there. We'll bring as many people as we can. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Right on. Yeah, we're, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. I just want to say too. I just want to say that this event on May 3rd, very important part of the worldwide wave of action because this is international. We want to get as much support out there as we can. And I think I'm just going to say one last thing about our campaign, the Green Rush for legal marijuana. We're called the Green Rush because we're, we're our demands are legal marijuana, and we're also demanding free money, debt-free currency from the Federal Reserve. More complicated topic. But we're going to be talking about that tonight in front of the Federal Reserve. And we're going to be talking about the NEED Act and our solution to that. We'd love to have you all come and join us for that teaching as well. This has been wonderful. I, I got a lot out of this. I hope you all did too. Thank you guys so much. Yo, and whoever's smoking that awesome shit, please bring that on 420 to Washington Square. We have a, a big public smoke out. It's time for us to get out of the closet and start being able to do our thing in public here. God, that was so good. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. I just said. Right. Can I get a flyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Malu. Malu? Yeah. Should we do a mic check or do we only take the rest first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! It is unacceptable! It is unacceptable! In 2014! In 2014! That workers are making! That workers are making! Seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour! Seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour! The ninety-nine percent needs a raise! The ninety-nine percent needs a raise! When the banks needed money, when the banks needed money, they got everything they wanted. They got everything they wanted. When they needed a loan from the Federal Reserve, 
They got everything they wanted. The people need a raise. The people need a raise. Fifteen dollars an hour. Minimum wage. Next Saturday, you don't have to repeat it. At Union Square, there is a street meeting at 1 p.m. about raising the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. If you're lucky enough to not have to make minimum wage, there are people suffering right now who can't afford to pay the heat, the rent, and buy food for themselves and their children. It's not okay. This is in preparation for May Day. I hope to see some of you there next Saturday. Make our voices heard. Whenever we go to the McDonald's and the, and the low-wage places, they always thank us. We do mic checks in there. So please be a part of this. If you're a student, be a part of it. Thank you. Malu, Malu. Malu from Mexico. Anybody need? That's Saturday. Hey, Ben, nice to meet you, Capital of capitalist exploitation, right here in New York City. So we have a small but spirited crowd. We wish that you were here organizing your community. We need you to organize where you live. And let's get it back together again for this wave of action from April 4th until July the 4th. We will be out here on a regular basis. weather's cooperating with us folks it's not raining it is raw and cold out here but we're in good spirits that'll keep us warm for the moment <laughs> Go to the next demonstration here in a little bit. I'm looking for my buddy, Nick.
So I guess I'm going to take advantage of a short break here. I will be right back. I want to archive this video here real quick. So I will be right back.